if you recently got a Mac or if you're a Mac user, these are top apps you need to download to get the most out of your Mac. And for the best part about this, all apps are absolutely free. For the first app, it's called Mackie, and it's one of the best uh, copyboard organizer that you can download. So this is about the best part. Look at this. I just tap on it, and this is everything that I recently copied. So uh, let's say I just want to look at uh, this website, then I just copied it. So I just do command C, and then I copied it. And then after I finish open up Mackie, you're gonna see it's gonna be right there. It's gonna be right there. Then let's say I copy something else. Then after that, if you just go back to Mackie, it's gonna be uh, right there. And after that, if you just tap on it. It, this is all the thing you copied and then if you need to copy something that you already copied so you you will copy something so all the thing is going to be saved right here so and if you want to copy something just tap on it and after that it's copied now if you just open up a, like a browser then click on control v it's going to paste it just like that for the second app is called kichu and it's one of my favorite app to download for any mac even if you're a, a new user or a, if you if you're a mac for years it's the app that you need to download it's the shortcuts so with this with this app it's going to show all the shortcuts that you need to know so uh, look at this. So uh, this is how it works. So you can just show, uh, hold that. You can click command two times, or you can just hold the command, and it's gonna bring you up this right here. So this is gonna show you all the shortcut for app you're using. So now let's say uh, let's say I open uh, Safari. Now after that, if you just hold the command, it's gonna show me all the shortcut for a uh, Safari that I need to know. Uh, uh, that is not another best part. Let's say I open up uh, uh, Spotify. And after that, I just hold the command, and it's gonna show me all the uh, shortcut that I need to know for uh, Spotify. So that's not this is gonna uh, work for every app. That's not it's so it's so handy. But things that there's a but things there's a more feature to this app. If I open it up and click on shortcut, you can actually have a custom shortcut. So you can just tap on plus right here. After that, you can actually add a custom shortcut. So anytime you need a shortcut that is actually important to you, it's gonna show up right here. If I hold the command, it's gonna show up in the right hand corner. So this can be a custom one. So with the a, a one that you need to know and one that you made, it's gonna show us. It's gonna show us under a, a custom one. So this app is so handy. Okay, for app number three, it's called Vanilla, and this app only one job. There's actually a cleaner menu with this arrow right here. So in, in over here, if you see it, there's nothing on my menu bar because it is actually clean and it is actually under this arrow. If you just tap on it, all the apps is right there. And then this actually make you, your home screen really organized. Look at this. Only thing. The only thing you can see is the arrow. If you just tap on the arrow, then it's gonna show all the uh, app you need to know. But things if you don't need to know the app, you just tap on the arrow again and it's gonna be gone, just like that. So this is how it works. So you just hold the command to move any app. So now I, I'm gonna move this right here and it's gonna go right there. After that, if you just hide it, it's gonna be gone from there and it's gonna be uh, hidden, just like that. Okay, for app number four, it's called Aldanta. And this is one of the app that you guys actually recommend on my last video with this app. If you care about a battery health, this is the app you need to download. So with this app, anytime if you're charging your device, it's gonna go to a certain point and then it's gonna stop automatically if you have this uh, app on. But things, if you actually, if your uh, computer is like a shutdown or like it's on slip, if your computer is like shutdown, it's not gonna work if you uh, pay for that for the pro version. But things for the uh, free version actually get the job done. So just know with the battery health, anytime if you're charging your device, it doesn't matter if it's like a, a, your iPhone or like any device, make sure you charge to 80 to 85 percent for the max. It don't charge about like 90 to 100 percent. If you actually charge your device 100 percent, it actually had a battery life. This app is gonna uh, monitor the battery health, and then anytime if it's go over 80 or 80 percent, it's gonna actually stop. So anytime it's plugged in, that, that's the app you need to download. For app number six, it's called it's a call. Because I don't know how to say the name, but things it have only one job to bring your calendar to your menu bar right here. So it's gonna be the calendar icon and it's gonna be right there. So this have only one job to bring your calendar uh, right here. And then with this it's gonna sync to your Apple calendar and also a uh, Google calendar. So everything from there, so any event, any doctor appointment, is gonna show up right here. So so just not say a simple app. The only job is to bring a calendar to your menu so you can have a quick access to it and that's it. For app number seven, it's called monitor control. So anytime if you're using external monitor, you know for the brightness, it doesn't get adjusted to it. So there's a third party app like monitor control to actually to adjust the brightness. Just know it's a simple app and, and just know the only thing you have to do is just open up the app once. After that, you can actually use your default uh, brightness to control it and that's it. For app number eight, it's called Tiles, and it's one of the app that I actually showed my last video, but I'm showing it again because this is how useful this app is. Just know this app is useful for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're new, old. So it's, it is actually a Windows manager. So anytime if you're using a multiple window, this is the app you need to download. So, so anytime if you're anytime if you're into like a go between two apps, 
on Mac, it's not that easy. So you can do that by if you hold the green, you can go between, you can put this on left or right. But things, it's not that uh, similar. But things with this app, it makes it so similar. So this is actually copying from Windows computer. So it's how simple it is. So for my to go between two apps, I just go to the left, it's gonna go to the left. I'm to open a Spotify and go to the right, and it's gonna go to the right. Hey, let's say I want to open up the okay, four apps, and then I want to put this in the bottom. So I just you hold the Safari down and then put it in the bottom like that. Okay, for app number nine, it's called App Cleaner, and this is one job to clean up any app. So just know, anytime if you uninstall an app from your Mac, it does not clean the whole thing. But things with this app, it actually it does that. So this is how it works. So uh, for 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 all the uh, all the other stuff. So this is how it works. So uh, let's say I actually import this file right here. So uh, let's say I want to uh, delete this app right here. So now let's say I want to delete this app. I just drag it down. Then after that, I just click on delete. Boom! Just like that, app is gone. All the apps the data is gone. So now, uh, now let's try to do this with a different app. So with Alt Tab, I just drag it down. It's gonna bring all the thing that is in important. So all the stuff is gonna be gone. You tap on remove. Boom! Just like that, it's gonna be gone forever. For app number ten, it's called Hand Mirror. So anytime if you're joining a like a meeting, like a Zoom call, like a FaceTime, then if you want to actually check yourself, this is the app you need to download. So just open it up. It's gonna open up your camera and it's gonna show you the PB right here. So anytime if you're joining a, a important call, I think this is the thing that you must have. Okay, for app number eleven, it's called Gemini Two. So this app have only one job to actually clean all your duplicate files and, and photos. So this is how it works. So let's see cancel. So this is how it works. So you're gonna tap on plus. Now put that is gonna bring your files. So, uh, let's say I open up photos, tap on that, and, th and then it's gonna bring all the photos. And after that, if you just tap on it, it's gonna shop all the photos. So this is all the duplicate. Because after so after finding the image, you have to just select the thing into delete. So sometimes if you like import file and keep, you can. So uh, for, for format, I just duplicate and tap on remove. And after that, it's gonna uh, remove it uh, like that. After that, just tap on delete, and after that, it's gonna uh, shop right here. And after that, you can just uh, move this to your trash like that. For app number 12, it's called Drop Over. Just now, for Mac, it's actually mostly drag and drop. So, with this app, uh, in, in Drop Over, it, it actually makes your life so much easy. So, let's say if you select all of this, you just hold it down, and then with this, you can just put your shop right here. So, after that, you can just open up like another app, and if you to paste in another app, like if you have like a lot of videos and if you want to edit that, you should put all the videos right there. And after that, you can just open up the edit, you can open up your editor, like a, 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 any editing software, and you can paste it there. So, with this, it actually makes your life so much easier because Mac is mostly known for drag and drop. Other than doing command C or command V, you can just drag and drop uh, files between apps. So, with this, it actually makes your life so much easier. Okay, for more content just like this one, make sure you like the video and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. And if you want to see 10 more apps you need to download for a Mac uh, that are free, you can uh, click on this video right here. And peace out.